Hello, everyone. This is Rich Hay from WindowsObserver.com and the Observe Tech Podcast. I'm here today to share with you a video preview of a new Twitter app that is going to be coming out. It's due to get into the Windows Store today, and it's called Tweetium. And it's uh, developed by a guy named Brandon Paddock, who you might know another app of his that's in the Windows Store called New Scene that reads your Twitter timeline and pulls in the news stories and from the links that people in your timeline are sharing. Well, Tweetium, if you're familiar with that app, the Tweetium interface will be very uh, familiar. In fact, uh, Brandon told me that New Scene started as a Twitter app, but he took it in a different direction. And now his work to produce a Twitter app, uh, Tweetium, is now going to hit the store. It's different. It's not like any other Twitter apps that you've seen. Um, it's I've been on the beta now for several weeks, and it is a solid app. It's uh, He's done a great job at kind of being unique and bringing out some some elements of things that we haven't seen before in Twitter apps. Uh, version 1 is uh, a long time in the coming. I think he went through nearly 50 builds to get to uh, version 1 that he submitted to the Windows Store. And he's got more plans in place. It's missing a few features that we come to expect from apps, but I don't think it harms the app in the sense that it gets you going. And Brandon has told me that he plans to iterate uh, the app very quickly once version 1 hits the store. So let me introduce you to it. Right here you'll see the live tile from Tweetium. We'll just click on it. And we're going to get the whole first run user experience. So you come here and of course you got to sign in with your Twitter account. Very standard recognizable interface here. And then it will connect and, and grab your tweets. And here you are at the uh, the initial interface or the timeline view of Tweetium. Now, when you first run the app, if you're not syncing your desktops or the first time you install it on any of your systems that you access, you're also going to get a panel here that's going to open up and introduce you to the different theme colors that are there um, and let you click on them and see the different looks and you can pick the one you want to use and then you exit and then this is what you get. You'll also notice as I'm sitting here talking to you about this that the flow of the tweets is very different than what we're used to seeing in a lot of apps. Most apps run horizontal, so from top to bottom, and they scroll up through the bottom. Um, these run in a flow from the bottom right to the top left, and you'll see it shift. Uh, different size blocks, depending upon the, uh, the tweet, what content is in the tweet, if there's a picture like there is over here from Wired, um, and, and lots of features. So let's just walk through this real quick, okay? Uh, up here across the top, obviously, the pencil is for writing a new tweet. You'll get your tweet box right there at the top. And at this point, new tweets stop, um, will not move that. So you, they will appear below it and keep flowing by. You get to write your tweet and then hit um, your tweet button down here. You can add photos. Um, so fairly standard usage there uh, that you would expect from a Twitter app. And to exit, of course, we just exit. And then the flow continues. The Connect tab is where people are tweeting at you at. This is where you dialogue with people just like you do um, when somebody mentions you on Twitter and all of those tweets will appear here. The News tab is powered by News Scene, which is Brandon's um, news app that he produced back and was released back in May. Again, this is looking in my timeline and grabbing out uh, information either I have tweeted or others has tweeted and to give us uh, featuring news stories and things of that like. We of course have a messaging tab that is right here and then we have the me tab which is my profile. If you have Twitter list you'll have a little arrow right here after the me that you can click on and then you can t uh, pin a list to appear right here as one of the tabs and then you can click on that. It updates about every minute. It doesn't stream fully, but about once every minute, any list that you follow or subscribe to, you'll be able to have it in its own window, and you'll get regular updates for that. The search bar here will search for things uh, that you're looking for on Twitter, whether it be a user, whether it be content or a name or something like that. Um, and then, of course, if you right-click, you get new window, which will open a, a new instance of the app, or you can manually refresh. Now, something Brandon has done very unique with Tweetium is that you can open multiple instances of the app in other windows. And I'll show you how that works here in just a minute as we continue to look through the interface. Down here in the bottom right, of course, is our charms bar. We can go to settings, and you can see here uh, the settings uh, tab for Tweetium. You have your preferences for the themes, and you can see what the different themes are here. 
the different, some of them have accents, some of them are just flat black colors, and you can pick which one you prefer and your preference. Um, all depends on what you're, you, you like. Uh, for me, personally, I've gotten quite accustomed to the sky blue, and I keep that. You can also change the size of the text to be larger and the largest version, depending on the size of your screen and, and you know your comfort level with reading things. And then, of course, I can exit the settings and come out of that. Now, as we move through the tabs, you might have noticed that this back arrow uh, became live. It became uh, obvious that we can use that for something. So if I hit back, as you'll watch, I'm currently on the Me tab. If I hit back... I go back to messages, if I hit back again to news, and I will actually, it's kind of like a browser history. You can go back through different pages of tweets that you've had open while you've been using the app. And of course, one final one brings me back to the timeline. And we can see what's going on in the timeline. Now the app is uh, snappable, so you can snap it down to half size of your screen and you get a nice column of tweets, and those will continue to update as you're sitting there and you open up other things, such as, let's say, our desktop over here on the right-hand side. Um, or I can squeeze this in a little bit more to one-third view, and there comes the one-third view. And again, a very nice uh, line of all the tweets in my timeline that as they come up. And of course, easy to switch between people tweeting you, your messages, and of course the me tab so and the back arrow here also works in the same way it allows you to back through and where this becomes real valuable let's say I wanted to click and look at uh, this this Twitter users profile I can bring that up and then I wanted to see somebody a reply to me and if I wanted to go back and see that thing I had linked up the Twitter profile there it is in the history so you can go backwards and you can just go back through the pages if you, as you looked on them the, the extra pages do not use extra memory uh, or resources like that, Brandon explained to me. So it is, a, you know, if you never go back to them, it's not going to cause any problem. Um, let's take this back out to full screen and show you some of the multiple instances window. So go back to timeline. And let's say you wanted to keep a sidebar of just tweets to you while you watched your timeline. So if you right click up here on a tab, you get the open and new window. And you get that on any of the uh, tabs up here. So I'm going to right click on connect and I'm going to say open a new window. And the second instance of Tweetium will open up with the tweets that are directed at me. And then I can, of course, drag this over here to make it one third of the screen. And so on one third of the screen in a single column are any uh, comments to me. And then over here on the left hand side, I continue to have all of the other tabs and the full timeline available to me. So lots of flexibility in this app. You can open up multiple versions of the app. So let's say we wanted to open up somebody's profile. I go open in new window, and here that comes that one. So let's make some room. All right, come on. I know you're supposed to do this. Um, uh, Maybe my screen size. I'm actually on my podcast machine, which is slightly smaller. Uh, then my um, my large screen on the desktop. So it's possible I'm not getting that third window here because of my screen size. And of course, that's Metro, that's the modern app interface, and that's how that works. But you can open multiple copies of the window um, and, and have it kind of fit what you want. If you wanted to do a search, let's say, let's do a search for Tweetium and see what comes up. And then if, if I wanted to uh, right-click, let me find where it does this search come up. There it is, because I didn't have enough room there. Again, my, I'm definitely impacted by the size of my monitor, so I apologize that I can't show you this exactly the way it works. But there's my search results. I can right-click on them, and I can open them up in their own window. And here are the search results for Tweetium. And again, I can snap this. Uh, to any size of the screen and I will get all the tweets that are talking about Tweetium. And then closing down will uh, give the window back to me. So if you right click on a link, let's say, let's go to this Instagram picture. Very uh, expected behavior right here. You get the, the one-third screen snap 
and then the the modern IE web browser opens up in the window next to it and lets you view that. Once you've viewed the page, you can drag it down to drop it, and it opens back up, and you'll see that the, the updates continue there. So to expand a tweet, you just click on any tweet, not on a link, obviously, because that's going to, if you click on somebody's uh, Twitter handle, you're going to get their page with the opportunity to follow them and read what they've been talking about. If you wanted to just kind of look inside of a tweet, you click and you get an expanded box and you'll see the original tweet with the reply, quote, retweet, and favorite um, icons, which we're all familiar with. But you'll also see the stream. You'll also see the discussion connected to that original tweet. And if you wanted to reply to a specific tweet in this chain, you simply click on it and you'll see that the quick response bar stuff will pop up there. If you want to close the window, you just hit the down key. It closes back up. Now, you might have noticed that update stopped while I had that window expanded. That's on purpose. Once you're finished in that window and you've replied to the tweet or you retweeted it, then you will be able to close it down, and it will return to giving you the updated feeds in your timeline. Uh, a couple of things that Brandon has shared with me. First off, um, there is not currently an implemented notification systems. He is planning to implement something with that as he works on a full-blown notification system with push notifications and, and things of that nature. Uh, there will be live tile support. Uh, he's got lots of other requests pending for multiple accounts. He's got requests pending for tweet marker support so that you can sync between uh, different devices because, again, one of the beauties of Windows 8 is that you're able to have the same app sync with each other on different uh, platforms, different devices, so he knows that that's important for a lot of people. Uh, the app should has been submitted to the Windows Store, so you can dive into the Windows Store and uh, check for it, but if you keep an eye on Tweetium app or Tweetium Windows, I'm sorry, it's Tweetium Windows, um, let me check that 100%. If you, uh, if you go follow Tweetium Windows, you'll see the, the Tweetium app has its own account, and Brandon is uh, tweeting from this account, and he will announce here, as well as on his Brandon at Brandon Live account, that the app is released and available in the store. I know lots of people are excited about it. Uh, it's a great change of pace for all these the uh, Twitter apps that we've seen in the past or the Twitter apps that, in my opinion, have been abandoned. It's nice to see something different. Like I said, I've been working with this for, for a few weeks now, and it is definitely a different app. I've now been using this app. This is what I've been showing you is actually version 1, the release that will be in the Windows Store. I've now been using Tweetium as my sole Twitter app for two days now. Um, j just to show and the ability that you have to be able to use it as a normal everyday Twitter app. And I'm a power user on Twitter in my opinion. And I like the flexibility that gives me to open different columns, to open different search results, to open list and have pin list. And it gives me just a lot of stuff that I haven't had for a long time with a good Twitter app. And I think once Brandon brings in a great push notification system, the tied in live tile, um, it's going to be even better. I currently have the official Twitter app installed on my Windows 8 systems, but the primary thing I use it for is the notifications. The notifications on that are awesome. They are timely and real time. And so I use um, Tweetium and then I use the, the Twitter app for the notifications so I can go pay attention to Tweetium. Um, but Brandon has shared with me, like I said earlier, that once version 1 hits the store, which is expected later today, that he will very quickly iterate these other features and get them added into the app. But his primary focus in getting version 1 out was the Twitter-based functionality and getting everything syncing and getting rid of the bugs related to that. Um, like I said, he iterated about 10 builds overnight uh, yesterday before submitting the app for submission to the Windows Store. So, uh, this is Rich Hay from WindowsObserver.com and the Observe Tech Podcast. Please take a moment and check out Tweetium when, you get, uh, when it gets released into the store. Thanks and have a great day.